How's it going, people? It's your boy AC back again with another episode. We have David the Mexico Monster Benavidez versus Demetrius Boo Boo Andre. You know, now this fight is not to be slept on. They call David Benavidez the Mexican Monster for a reason. The guy's tough as nails, undefeated, pressure fighter, throws combinations, has fast hands, and he's got a resilient mindset. Now, his mentality alone makes this an extremely tough fight. In my opinion, he really only has one gear, but that gear is very effective. Some would say he's fought a similar style in Demetrius Andre. He came across Caleb Plant, but I feel Demetrius will pose uh, some other problems. Nobody has wanted to fight him for the longest while. So he's been starved for the big fights that he's really been chasing and, and credit to, to David Benavides for taking this fight. Why? Because he's a slick, tricky southpaw boxer and he cuts angles really well. He does have the better footwork of the two. Um, he is very awkward, throws shots from awkward angles. He's also strong, physical. He's got a deep amateur pedigree so he's got a lot of experience he poses a lot of problems so you know i feel this is going to be a harder fight than most people anticipate for benavides the guy is undefeated he's uh, 32 and 0 however you know they say he's fought nobody now his opportunity to shine is he really about to after really not getting the recognition for his uh, resume you know his body of work and Finally, at the first opportunity to, you know, to put a uh, credible name, you know, on his list of, of victories, is he now going to fall short at this stage? I'm not so sure. He, he still strikes me as someone who still has, uh, you know, something to give to the sport. And I feel this fight is going to be a tough fight. Um, it's very much 50-50 for me. It really comes down to, you know, how much does Demetrius Andre have in the tank versus, you know, can David Benavidez you know, handle the awkwardness, the stylistic problems that he's going to pose. But Amidas has drawn comparisons to, to Caleb Plant with uh, Demetrius Andre and Caleb Plant as a similar stylistic matchup. He's seen that style before, so, you know, he's very much prepared for it. However, Caleb being quite a slick boxer, doesn't really have the power to gain the respect of a fighter like Benavidez. He didn't stop Caleb Plant. Some would argue that he should have stopped him, but he didn't. If he couldn't drop Caleb, I'm not so sure he's going to be able to stop Demetrius Andre. You know, he is a physically stronger person than com comparable to Caleb Plant. Both, both of these fighters have both had flash knockdowns and gone on to win their fights respectively. So they both can potentially be hurt. So, so it's going to make for an interesting fight. Benavidez does throw punches in bunches and he's not necessarily defensively sound. Um, he, he will back himself and say that he's defensively sound. However, you know, there was some success from Caleb Plant in that fight. However, he just didn't really, and he's not really known for that punching power. Um, for me personally, I'm thinking you can't necessarily sleep on... Demetrius Andre. We're talking about a champion in two separate weight divisions going for his third title in a in a third weight class. You know, is he really expected to drop the ball now? You know, both of these guys are both chasing the Canelo fight and the, the winner of this fight will surely be a name that should be in contention. I do get vibes of the whole Ter Terence Crawford, Errol Spence, essentially where, you know, where Terence Crawford is literally not given any kind of respect his body of work was criticized they thought he was going to get steamrolled by the bigger stronger guy they were talking about glass shield etc so the question becomes how much does demetrius Andrade have left due to you know being on the, the you know the back end of his career you know he's been relatively inactive which is another reason why a lot of people are picking uh, david benavidez due to the inactivity should demetrius Andrade fade in the later rounds then you will definitely expect Benavidez to come in strong. David Benavidez, he's not a one-punch knockout, uh, you know, artist. He's a more wear you down fighter. He does put together combinations well, and ultimately to really break the will of his opponent and get the stoppage that way. It's definitely a case of youth versus experience, and I feel that you know Demetrius Andrade's you know chapter is not closed for me. You know, Andre's demeanor, his mentality, he seems extremely relaxed. It seems to be that, you know, he sees something in Benavidez that seems to be a style that's made for him. You know, a style that he's very capable to kind of really, you know, dissect in the ring. 
if he's able to, you know, get ahead early on the scorecards, stay in control, be, you know, he's able to fight in the mid range, you know, um, I think it's going to be a tough fight. It's going to surprise a lot of people. Um, I've been going back and forth, both dangerous fighters, both guys are game, and, you know, they both look strong. I feel it's going to be shades of Lomachenko versus Devin Haney, however, but with the right verdict this time. You know, in terms of a decision, I'm just feeling that the possible outcomes in this is either going to be a draw or a split decision victory to Demetrius Andre. It's going to be an exciting fight, but yeah, that's my prediction for this one. Um, stay tuned and we shall see what happens there. So thank you guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.